Okay, hello, my name is Sarah, Sarah Kapanen. I'm from Finland, currently living in London, and it's London Hackney Wick. I work mainly locally, and I'm really interested um, about community-based art projects um, that usually take place on public space. I also work for Street Art London. I do art tours in Hackney Wick and in Shoreditch as well. Recently also launched um, creative agency um, called Creative Wick and um, so I also um, collaborate with the local um, architect and art practice called Public Works and um, our practice is mainly focused on um, mobile structures. Currently um, our residency takes place in the Olympic Park <laughs> okay, can I start? Yeah. Okay, hello, my name is Sara. Um, I'm from Finland. I currently live in Hackneywick. I'm a visual artist focused on site specific uh, and community based projects. Collaborator. Mm. Well, actually, uh, Jean Juan um, invited me uh, via email. So um, we both work in Hackneywick. And um, so she asked me to participate and um, it all sounded really interesting and I thought this is a nice framework for my practice and to give a bit of a time for my own doing and also to meet other creatives um, from different fields. So having an opportunity to collaborate and having time for my own doing. I must admit that I had to Google before coming here what, what is a hackathon and what does that mean and it's especially in terms of art so what does that actually mean and what could be an art hackathon or hackathon for artists mean in this context. Um, so yeah I didn't have much of a knowledge um, of that beforehand though in my master's program I had experienced similar situations before where we had to make art within 24 hours non-stop. Um, also last summer I participated for a summer school in Amsterdam where we had two week time. We had a problem in the beginning and we were divided in different case studies where we explored um, um, the theme with different creatives so there were urban planners and architects I was a visual artist of the group and then dealing with the same dilemma and a question um, that was given to us so yeah I had the model already I just didn't know that you can call it as a hackathon <laughs> um, challenging I guess in the beginning was that I didn't know the people's backgrounds beforehand so I found it a bit difficult in the beginning to kind of replace myself within the group and also to get on with a given task um, and to finalize the product because I didn't know you know what skills did they have and also sometimes I was questioning what am I doing here because I'd, I'm not a performer I have a background in, in dance but I, I have never studied dancing um, so so yeah I like that was a nice challenge <laughs> I didn't consider it as a problem or like so and also I had to go away for three hours yesterday so that of course broke a little bit of the chain of like you know intensively doing something um, and uh, this was just the whole ex experience was extremely rewarding um, especially now also seeing the final results I'm super impressed of everything what everyone made and also quite proud of our own group <laughs> how did it turn out in the end um, well, I tend to work with other people, and like I said, I work with architects currently. Um, so I find that like a bit similar in a way that all of us are throwing different ideas into this like one melting pot, and then like doing a great stir, and something comes out of it. So I'm quite used to working with people from different backgrounds. Um, so in that that way, I found it, yeah. But of course, in those situations we already have the focus, quite a clear focus of like, you know, what are we doing? Um, so in that, that was like a, probably a similarity. And then at the same time, I guess I already mentioned the kind of a, the point that was different. Well, this gave me something what I was actually looking forward to, to get from it, which is just like jumping into something. And often when you're, you know, when you're having like a busy seven day a week or six day a week, you know, non-stop working, you kind of forget to have fun while making art, even though your process is creative. So this gave me a permission to, you know, play around. And um, it's always really good to bear in mind. <laughs> 
<laughs> and to um, yeah, just say yes to different things. So it also gave me actual models through those like quite funny practices that we did. So I'm definitely I was thinking that okay, I have like now uh, a project that I don't know. I'm a bit locked, like you know, I don't know exactly where to go. So yeah, so in that way, it also gave me like actual tools to try how would it work in my personal practice.